Hello guys, welcome back to this channel, Learn for Tech. And today we are on VLAN configuration on a single access switch. And in this uh, video, I will demonstrate the process of setting up VLANs on a Cisco Catalyst switch and assigning interfaces to, us, to the specific VLANs. And let's start with the, our simple diagram, our simple network diagram here. We have a, a switch C1, C2, C3, C4. Uh, first, we look at the default VLAN configuration. We go to command line interface. Enable config. Let's let's check uh, our 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 configuration, our VLAN. If we have any configuration, any VLAN configuration, show VLAN. It's fascinating that. Uh, VLAN 1 serves as the default LAN and it's evident that all current ports, all the current active ports interfaces are allocated VLAN 1. As you can see here, we have, we don't, we have not done any configuration here and we have default VLAN and all the ports are on VLAN 1. So let's try to ping if we don't have any configuration, any VLAN configuration on this switch. Let's try to ping and check if our PCs can see each other. Let me try to ping. Ping is 192.168.1. Dot two. Reach. Let let me ping. One and two. Dot one sixty eight. Dot one dot three. Let me ping. Dot four switch four. So, if you uh, you check. Even with the, the default switch configuration, these PCs can reach each other. PC1 can reach PC2, can reach PC3, and can reach PC4. So now let's see if I, I can create a new VLAN for these PCs. PC1 and PC2 should be under VLAN 10 and PC3, PC4 to be under VLAN 20, and see what will happen. So, global configuration mode. To configure uh, VLAN, we start with the VLAN with ID, VLAN 10. Uh, then we give uh, the name. Name of VLAN 10 is by Finance. Exit. VLAN 20. Name so this is how uh, we create a new VLAN. If you want, you can give it a name, but it, this is optional. But for mine, I'm calling finance and uh, engineering. It's very optional. So now let's. Let's check uh, our configuration, show VLAN. 
So, Villain 10 and Villain 20 uh, were created on this switch. You can see that uh, act, uh, they, are, they are active, the setters are active. However, no ports are currently in VLAN 10 and 20. And so now let's see if we can add the ports. This is another step. Now let's add port interface range interface zero one and two switch port mod there should be an access mod switch port access in VLAN 10. You can see here now of FPC 1 and FPC 2 and VLAN 10. Interface range FA 0, 3 to 4. Attempting switch port mode. Access, switch port, access, VLAN, entry. Okay, to start, we, we set up the switch port in, a, in access mode by using the command switch port mode access. Then the switch port access VLAN. This command, we can transfer our interfaces to different VLANs. Currently, before all the ports were in VLAN 1, but with this command, switch port access VLAN, we can transfer these ports to any VLAN, like now F1 and FA02 are, we have allocated them on VLAN 10. The same FA03 and FA04 are on VLAN 20. So with this command, we can transfer the ports any VLAN. So to show VLAN, now before all the ports were on the default VLAN, but now in finance VLAN, we have FA01 and FA02. With engineering, we have FA03 and FA04. So uh, this is great that both computers have been successfully placed into their VLANs. Now let's confirm our setup by testing whether they can establish connection by pinging each other. So let's try to ping from PC1. Let me try to ping C2. Yes, you can ping PC2. Let me try to ping C4. C3. Yes, that's true. PC PC one cannot ping PC three because there are there are on different VLAN. For PC1 and PC3 to ping each other, we have to have we must have a, a routing device, either a router or a layer 3 switch. But now for the access switch, they cannot ping each other. Although PC3, PC3 can ping PC4 because they are on the same VLANs. So another video will add 
routing device here, router, and configure our network setup so that PC1 and PC3 can ping each other. But for the single access switch, each VLAN and each device can ping another device within the same VLAN. Before they, they were pinging each other because what? all ports were on the same VLAN one. So that's how we can configure we or we can create VLAN on a Cisco access switch. So another thing is uh, let me try to, to delete the VLAN in access mode on a Cisco switch. We have uh, two ways of deleting the VLANs. One way is uh, okay. We might we might want to delete VLANs if we are planning to switch the ports assigned. Maybe want to fit to switch the ports assigned to VLAN one. Switch them to VLAN VLAN ten to VLAN twenty. Okay, we also we may we might want to delete VLANs just because we have created uh, the VLANs by mistake. Now let's assume that uh, we want to delete VLAN ten for port one, FA zero one, and F uh, and FA zero two. The, uh, that uh, we have just created here. Okay, deleting a VLAN is a simple and uh, ascending the default VLAN one to the port that are part of the VLANs you want to delete and delete the VLAN. So there's a one way we can switch all the ports to the default VLAN one and delete VLAN 10. We can do that by on the global configuration mode interface range FA zero one to two. We can switch them switch port access. We can switch them to VLAN one. Exit. Then now we can delete uh, the VLAN 10 just by tapping no VLAN 10. Let's verify a uh, VLAN 10 if VLAN 10 has been deleted. So VLAN. Now we don't have a VLAN 10 with just the uh, no VLAN 10 command and uh, our VLAN uh, our port FA01 and FA02 we have switched them to VLAN 1. This is how we can delete uh, the VLAN or we can just go to the interface, maybe interface in FA zero three. Then we type this command no switch port access. FA three was assigned to VLAN ten, so no switch port access. Three was assigned to VLAN 20, so no, no switch port access VLAN 20 and enter exit. Let me verify now. We can see that engineering engineering VLAN we have removed FS03. FS03 now. It's on VLAN 1. Here's another way to 
delete a VLAN or to delete a VLAN on interface, the first thing, the first uh, method was deleting the entire VLAN. But another, this the second method was to delete a port in a particular VLAN. Okay, after this configuration, if you want to save, you can just type right and save your configuration. So, thank you guys. Uh, I think we have learned how to create VLAN on a single access switch. The coming video will create VLAN on multiple switches and also we, 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 we come up with a routing device and ensure that the, all the uh, PCs can bring each other using the routing device like a router or layer, layer 3 switch. So please guys, hold on to these videos for more uh for more information or for more detailed network apologies thank you